Hello, Veronica. It's Mr. Sean here again to read another story to you. This story looks pretty interesting. Summer in the City, written by Anne Harth. Well, let's see what they get to do in the summer in the city here. It looks like they're one of the fire hydrants is opened up to let the kids cool down. They do do that. I haven't seen it do them do it in Grand Rapids, but maybe they do. Jason sat on his front steps. Alex sat beside him. I'm hot, said Alex. Me too, said Jason. Yeah, we've had some hot days here recently. Jason started at the cracks and Jason stared at the cracks in the sidewalk. Something moved. Hey, look. Jason said as he ran down the steps, a trickle of water flowed down the sidewalk. Oh, look at that. There's the water. wonder what's going on. Are they going to follow it to see where it's coming from? Where did it come from, said Alex. I don't know, said Jason. Let's find out. There they go. Jason followed the trickle. Alex followed Jason. They passed the fruit shop and the shoe shop. The trickle grew wider. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a basketball court, too, there. Do you live near shops and stores and different things? They live kind of close. Maybe not as close as the boys do here. They passed the basketball court. There are two trickles, Jason said. He put a finger in the water. It was cool. Mm, that was nice. Feels good when you're hot to have some cool water. There's a fire hydrant, and there's a fire hydrant. And there's some bikes here and bread. Maybe that says beans. Don't know. There are... Mm, there are more than two, Alex pointed at the street ahead. More trickles came toward them. Jason and Alex walked faster. They passed the bike shop and the bread shop. Yeah, there's the bike shop. See the bicycles and the bread. This is a big loaf of bread. Sometimes it might be called French bread. They're still walking. The water came faster and faster. The boys took off their shoes. They ran through the cool water. Yeah, that's always nice to walk barefoot in cool water when it's hot. It cools you down. Where is it coming from, Alex said. Look, Jason said. The water ran over their feet. They raced to the end of the street. A fire hydrant was open. Ooh, look at all the kids in the water. Alex and Jason are there too, it looks like now. Having fun cooling down. Yep, beans, that was the word. And cakes. Cake shop water sprayed everywhere. Kids played in the spray. Jason and Alex did too. Hey, Alex. Jason looked at his dripping friend. Are you still hot? I would certainly hope not. All that water spraying on them, I bet you there'd be a lot more kids than just these four or five, six people. There would be bunches of kids from the neighborhood. When does this story take place? What do Alex and Jason pass first? Where is the water coming from? Where does the story begin? Hmm. When do you think this takes place? Well, it kind of says it right here in the, the title of the story, Summer. So it's summertime. So what do Jason and Alex pass first? Where does the story begin? And we can also, before we get there, where is the water coming from? Hmm. Remember, it's coming from that fire hydrant. Sometimes what the firemen will do is they'll go around and open the fire hydrant a little bit 
So it sprays water, especially in really hot days in big cities like New York and Chicago, I know, do it for the kids, especially in New York. So where does our story start? Well, what are they doing? They're sitting on the front steps, on Jason's front steps. There, they're sitting there. So what do they pass first? No, nope. they passed the fruit shop and the shoe stop, shoe shop. All right, so they had an adventure, didn't they? I hope you're staying cool in the summertime, maybe getting out in a sprinkler or maybe you have a small pool or maybe you go to the city pool. That's more fun. All right, Veronica, we'll talk to you another time. Take care. Bye-bye.